super excited for everybody to be here. Um, I know we've, uh, if I go through the chat right now, we've already got Nolan, Raymond, and 2x4 Brick, and Victor Grzynia. Sorry, I know that's probably not how you say it. I'm sorry, I'm an American. I can't pronounce things that aren't very specifically spelled out. <laughs> Shadow Dancer, what's up? Andre dash I, maybe? <laughs> Welcome. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And today we are going to be doing the puzzle build for the Amelia Earhart. And the craziest part is my youngest daughter is named Amelia. And for some reason, I didn't uh, actually realize that until my oldest son pointed that out to me. She's like, oh, if it's, uh, <laughs> it's like you're building Amelia. And I'm like, yeah, I'm building Amelia Earhart. She's like, yeah, but it's Amelia. You know, my sister. <laughs> I'm like, you mean my daughter? <laughs> Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Oops. My bad. <laughs> anyway, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to jump in here in just a second. I'm pretty excited. I know my hair doesn't look great, but... Eh. <laughs> it's, it's not early, but I did wake up and make breakfast for all the kids. And uh, we made German pancakes. Is that, have you guys ever had German pancakes before? German pancakes are amazing. They're easy to do too. So you do the, uh, <clears throat> you put a cube of butter in a pan, you cut it up, and then you put it in the oven while the oven preheats and it melts the butter. And then you put one cup of flour, one cup of milk, and six eggs in a bowl, mix it all together, try to get the chunkies out. And then you stick it in the oven at 400 degrees for what, 18 minutes, 20 minutes? And ta-da, you got German pancakes. And then you either put more butter on top or you sprinkle some powdered sugar on top, which is what I really like. Hey, everybody, what's up? Leolius, Studs and Bricks, welcome. Tam Bricks 22 hello there. Oh, Shadow Dancer, I almost broke your arm on Thursday. What'd you do? What'd you do, Shadow Dancer? Holy cow. Nolan Raymond, hello. Welcome. We're about to get into it. I was just sharing uh, what I was doing this morning and why my hair isn't done or anything. But I do have on my... Mandalorian shirt with Grogu, because I love it. <laughs> now, for those of you who've been here before, the only reason I call him Grogu is because my daughter Amelia, since we're doing Amelia Earhart today, my daughter Amelia, she loved the name Grogu and called him Grogu from the very beginning. So even though we had a whole season of Baby Yoda, and now it's Grogu, she called it Grogu and it was too adorable. I couldn't, I, I couldn't go back, which is funny. <laughs> So, all right, uh, mountain biking shadow dancers, how you almost broke your arm on Thursday. Wow, that hurts. I'll tell you, uh, I actually got myself pretty bad. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh man, really? There's like not even a mark left. Dude, I had a bruise that was like this big on my arm because I fell down into a window well and whacked one of the uh, concrete ties. Can't even see it anymore, that's sad. Okay. All right. 20th anniversary Imperial Dropship and Snow Speeder. Nice. Those are awesome sets. Ooh, Tambrix 22 is building a cool Star Destroyer. It's just the Technic Basin floor plate so far, but it's getting bigger by the minute. Awesome. Star Destroyers are awesome. Do I like the plane I'm reviewing? You know, I've never, I've never been huge into planes, to be honest. Um, I, I like jets, but my son Ben is huge into planes. And the uh, plane that Amelia Earhart actually flew, I, I've listened to some uh, some stuff about her and some theories about what happened to her. Um, and apparently the plane she had was a pretty revolutionary plane. It was pretty awesome. I'm not even familiar what it is, but I'm sure the instructions probably have information about her and her plane. Unfortunately, we're not looking at the instructions. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. Um, let's see. All right. What's up, Cabbage733? Welcome. Uh, Leolia studs and breaks. My cat scratched me on the arm. That's not great. Yeah, she did fly through the uh, Pacific Ocean. That's correct. Wait, what? Wait, I thought she got lost in the Atlantic. Oh, crud. Now my geography. Now, now it's going to shine through. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm a Lego builder. I don't need to know geography. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, I think... No, she was going. She was going across the Atlantic when she disappeared. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Shadow Dancer. Oh yeah, you like the plane? Awesome. Nice. 
All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. We've already been wasting enough time, shall we? <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. We now have liftoff. Hmm. I just realized my phone is going the wrong direction. All right, Ben. Yeah. Come help me. Okay. <laughs> I gotta flip this around. All right. Okay. All right. Sorry, just a second, guys. I just realized my phone is facing the wrong direction, and I gotta, I gotta try to sneak it into the cradle above. Boom. I think we're looking pretty good there. You guys, let me know if you can't see it properly. So this is gonna be fun. We're going to be puzzle building. No instructions. Woo, it's going to be exciting. Bang, would you also go grab my knife so I can open this thing? Uh, it's probably in my pants next to my bed. <laughs> All right. Slide that guy up a little bit. Even it out. We're going to do some stuff here. Oops. All right. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty, I'm fairly happy with where we're at there. <laughs> All right, check the chat one more time. Hey, Nolan Raymond, going to Disney. I'm going to get the set. Please review. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I really like the, uh, I really like all the free sets that LEGO's been putting out. Um, the gifts with purchases have gotten way better than they used to be. It used to be just be minifigures and poly bags, but these are pretty significant. Uh, I also got the, Charles Dickens and the Monster Book of Monsters. That was pretty awesome. So, should be fun. All right. Ben failed me for the last time. <laughs> so, we're going to try to use a pair of scissors to open the box. Kids, do this with your parents around. Parents, get a knife. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Ooh, lots of red. Lots of similar colors. All right, there's our Amelia Earhart. Yeah, there is a little bit in here about Amelia Earhart. She was a, a big pioneer. Um, her first flight was a ride along with a guy named Frank Hawks on my birthday. In 1920. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh man. This is intense. Oh, we have bags. Ooh, we have numbered bags, guys. We have numbered bags. And my guess though is that the numbers my guess is this the stand. So we definitely probably don't need that right now. Got a couple of these guys. Ugh. What's up, Captain Rex fan? Welcome. Glad you're here. All right. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, what's new with you guys? Uh, has everybody, have you guys seen the uh, WandaVision finale? Holy cow. That was amazing. I'll, uh, I'll try not to have any spoilers here, but dang, that was an amazing show. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm also really excited next week for Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, my kids also, okay, so Disney Plus wise, um, even though I'm mad at Disney for all, all, some of the things they've been doing recently, uh, they, um, they have uh, put out some pretty cool content lately. Falcon and Winter Soldier and uh, WandaVision are both awesome. Wow, look at all these pieces. I I like it when they include different colored pieces for instruction purposes because then it's easy to find the pieces amongst all the others. But uh, this particular build is going to be a little bit more tricky because of that because I know a lot of those pieces are going to be internal. But where internally are they going to be? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so the first things first to do is to try and 
build whatever we can see right now. Good news is we have some great pictures. We've got a great top view. We've got a great tail end view, which is awesome. We can see a lot of the pieces on the tail, which is fantastic. And then we even get some underside view right here so I can even see how some of that goes together. Amazing. Such an amazing job. So I think I'm going to build the propeller first. That's going to be pretty easy to do. You know, actually, some of these... Uh, some of these yellow pieces are actually going to be visible the entire time. So that's going to be interesting to do. Uh, slow parts, tem Tembrex, yeah. There were some slow parts in WandaVision. Honestly, the first three episodes were kind of a slog to get through. It wasn't until the fourth episode that I really started to go, Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> and then by the end, I was, I was pretty excited. Uh... Shadow Dancer didn't like the ending as much as you thought you would. What? We can't disagree on things. You're one of my patrons. <laughs> we have to think all the same things. Yeah, there's there's quite a few stickers on this thing. It makes sense, though. They wanted to get the details really good. And some of these things where the lines taper gradually, there's just really no other way to do it. Plus, you've got the, uh, the call signs and stuff. It would have been nice to have printed. I, I will I will grant you that. Printing would have been really nice to have on a lot of that. But, oh my goodness, even the map is a sticker? Come on, Lego. Ugh, that's frustrating. Oh well. We will survive. Alright, and that propeller is actually going to spin really well. So I don't think this is to scale. It's definitely not minifigure scale. <laughs> Uh, obviously. Yeah, this plane was actually pretty big, from what I recall, without looking at the instructions. Let's see. Which direction do they have those facing? Do they face up or down? Hmm. Which way would I do it if I was doing it? I'd probably have the cutting edge on the high end, right? Cutting edge going forward and... Okay, so not really a play piece. It's definitely a display piece. There we go. We got our propeller. Uh, I think we could probably even build the uh, landing pods if we wanted to. Oh, man, we got such a good view of the bottom here. Look at that. I didn't even see those on the front. Yeah, you can't hardly even see the secondary struts that support it on the front. Oh, my goodness. That's such an amazing picture to include. For me, specifically. <laughs> Thank you, Lego. You guys are doing awesome on this. As far as the puzzle build goes, I'm fairly confident about this one, actually. That shouldn't be too bad. <sighs> Alright, I'll check the chat real quick. Looks like a lot of people are down. <laughs> <laughs> look no hands on a bike. And then when I get older, it's like, look no instructions. <laughs> nice. Uh, Tambrex, one of my favorite things to do in building my custom set is to hide as many colorful pieces underneath the outer structure, especially pink and lime green. Yep, yep. That's it. Can be it can be a good way to get rid of some of those pieces and uh, clean up your builds quite a bit. Sorry, I'm going to be jumping into back and forth a little bit to chat. You guys, you guys are pretty awesome though. I think you can uh, pretty much handle a lot of stuff on your own. Oh, hey, I just saw these guys on the end. Like that. Is that what they do? Yes, but they're... Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're good. So we're going to build the top wing real quick. That'll get, clean up the pieces a little bit and give us some space. Alright, so it looks like we've got three 2x4s, and then a gap of a 2x2, two two, and then three more 2x4 as far as the tiles go. That's the easy part, you know, it's stuff that's really obvious and open to look at. There's my last one. Then, looks like we're going to need a 2 by. Oh. Oh, okay. 
So there's a taper at the back of the wings. It's four long. So that actually gives us a one, two, three, four, five, six. Honestly, this is pretty fantastic as far as puzzle builds go. I'm really happy with uh, all the different views they give us on this. This is, this is actually not going to be quite as difficult as I feared. Which is really good because I was really scared of this one. When I started to really look at it, it started to get a little crazy um, with some of the... Uh, techniques and pieces that they use all right so we've got this guy underneath here and then a one by three do we have anything behind it we do but it's one stud in because of the taper there that's all right so the picture i'm using right here is that one for the underside of the wing it's, it's fantastic fantastic view um, we are going to need to figure out if there's a different colored piece there, one of the, probably, nope, probably not. So it's probably just gonna be one of these. And then we can stick this on like that. And then on the back end, we have that little taper. Those are the same. There we go. Got that. And here we go right there. And then we can build the other side on just like that. Should be another one by four plate. Perfect. So far, I'm not convinced it's gonna be any kind of a play set. I, you know, obviously it's not a play set. It's got a freaking display, display stand, DJ. <laughs> what are you thinking? You got the Grogu set with a single sticker sheet and a big info plaque sticker was folded over diagonal. Oh no. Oh yeah, the sticker actually worked out. Nice. Glad to, glad to see that. Do I watch m &R Productions? You know, I actually don't. Um, I used to, but holy cow, he gets uh, he gets a little clickbaity lately, from my experience. There, uh, there are a few things that I'm I'm just I haven't been super impressed with on some of it. Some of his videos. Uh, I understand, you know, he kind of does that as a as a job of sorts. So. My understanding is that uh, when you really do YouTube as a career or as a, uh, a constant sort of stream of income, you kind of end up having to do clickbaity stuff, which is sad, but I, I think you can still have a choice, personally. That's why I, I know there have been a couple times where people are like, oh my gosh, I was so worried when I saw your title, and I'm like, ah, I'm not trying to clickbait you. I very specifically put the stuff in there to say oh it's not really the end <laughs> like when i moved to the lego room and said this is the last video from the lego room and people were freaking out i'm like don't freak out it's just i'm, I'm just moving from the basement <laughs> so that was that was probably a little a little too much on my part all right so this tail piece is interesting i think i want to build that so we're going to start with a 1x4, and then it's got the slope. Now, if I'm reading this right, I should have a plate, then a brick. I should have a 1x2 brick. Then two 1x1 one one plates, and then one of these angles. One of these, uh, what do they call these? Are these still slopes? They're like half arches. I think I've looked for them in stud.io and under arch before and it didn't come up. But I think it is considered a, uh, a slope. Oh, that's an inverted. Oh, no. Inverted slopes? Really? Oh, that's going to mess me up. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, no. No, that's definitely got to be a slope. The question is, where does it where where is it oh one there's one one by two curved slope in red it's right there Woo! that was close all right so hey we've got our tail fin and our plane look all right so here is my amelia Earhart plane i'll do a review now no, i'm just kidding <laughs> oh that's as far as i can get on the puzzle build guys that's it just kidding Yeah, the propeller is actually pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. 
Yeah, Galadotto. Yeah, the uh, the propeller is actually interesting. They got the right size and didn't just use the pre-made propeller, which I'm I'm always appreciative of. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, every everybody who has three hundred thousand subscribers is all are all clickbaity channels. <laughs> um, I can't say they're all that way, but yeah, no. It like I said, it definitely seems like when you get to that level or the way to get to that level is to be clickbaity, which is, again, sad, but I understand. Not everybody can just do straight up content like me. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm thinking that's a triple. And I'm thinking it's a green triple because that's, I think, the only two by three that we have. And then it's gonna have that and the front slope. And there we have our wing that'll go on the top. Now it looks like this is going to tie directly onto that. The only question is it might actually go forward a little bit. It's very hard to tell guys. So what I'm looking at is I'm trying to find out where that ends on that slope. And it is not easy, guys. Wow. That's actually a really difficult part to see. You know, we might have more luck if we move on to the next section and, uh, and just keep going on that. That could be yellow on the wing. Or just not have anything if it's a display piece. So here's... Let's see if we can figure some stuff out here. So we have two of these going up and down. We have a 1x6 on the length. So it's like that. Then we have... That sitting like that. And this guy like that. Just trying to line these up so I can try to maybe guess where the wing attaches, but we might end up just doing some guesswork here. So interestingly, I actually know that this attaches here. And then has a 1x3 behind it. And then I think it's probably going to have a 1x4 above it, but I used the two 1x4s already. So unless there is another something there. Another thing I'm trying to look at is see if I can find see if I can figure out how long that is. Holy cow. No, these actually go the entire length of the plane, guys. They go all the way. So this actually attaches like right here. How crazy is that? So I definitely need something under here. And it looks, oh, it's a, it's this. Yep, look at that. Just like that. Look at that, we got the whole top end pretty much done. Just like that. There's our top. That's interesting. So when I hold these up like this, we have six, four, four. We have two studs left over. And when I look here, the, at the end of the yellow stripe, there is a sticker with a 1x2 brick right there. So that actually lets us know that those things go all the way across because we only have two studs left. So we know these two go here. And then this is going to go like that. Whew! This is going to be intense, guys. Um, I think I'm going to take those 1x4 plates out of here. So I've got my stud separator on hand this time. Don't have to go looking for it. Uh, where was that? Oh, it's clear up here. It's not even down there. All right, so we pop this guy off. Pop this guy off. Take off that 1x4 plate. Do the same thing over here. Definitely gonna need to redo that. 
So we know these go here and the, the tiles go there. Would they have that without anything underneath? I doubt it. I, I highly doubt that. So I'm just going to leave those off to the side for now because we know where those go. And we're going to use these to finish off this section. Oh, I should really check a couple other things first. See if I can see more of that stripe. So that stripe goes down the edge. Oh my goodness, guys. I just saw something. The, uh, the back stripe there actually is separated from the top. It actually attaches to the bottom section. Huh. Very curious. My... Oh, man. This is going to be very interesting. Because I have to create an upside-down uh, section. Hmm. Well, you know what? We're going to do it for now. Oh, is there a way for me to tell which direction that goes? I think there is, guys. Yeah, it's it's upright. Okay, so I'm... Sorry, I know I'm jumping around. So I'm looking at these stripes. This one attaches to the bottom section, but this one attaches to the top. So we're going to go ahead and just do that now. Oh, that's the bottom. So attach that. So there we go. That's the first one. And then we just need to get the second side. We're working. It is actually a very small plane. Weird, huh? Uh, what's my favorite Lego Star Wars set? I have a hard time picking that. To be honest, um, yeah, the Razor Crest is probably one of my one of my best ones. Then I got Ben here whispering in my ear, my oldest boy. Yeah, he's sitting here whispering. He's like, "Dad, your favorite's the Razor Crest." I'm like, uh, yeah, I like the Razor Crest. Okay, <laughs> you're right. I do. <laughs> you're being silly. The Tanta Four is pretty cool, Ben, but it. Uh, Kind of gets shoved to the side in a lot of ways. Oh, I do like the new 20th anniversary Slave 1. Yes, I do. You're right. Stop it, Ben. Stop. You don't have to keep trying to prod me into what my favorites are. <laughs> oh, Can a minifigure even sit inside this? Oh, heck no. No, this is definitely just a display model. And she is supposed to stand on the side and not be in the plane, which is kind of weird considering that she's like the first woman first female aviator and it's like but you're not allowed to sit in the lego plane <laughs> so she can't fly her lego plane <laughs> oh my gosh i mean you gotta stretch really far to to make any kind of joke like that but it's still there. It's still there. It's still open. It's kind of funny. Sad. Sad. But very funny to me. For some reason. Alright, looks like we've got a few jumper tiles here for our, uh, for our tail fin. Not our tail spin, our tail fin. Okay. You know what? That really does look like it sits right on top of that. Yeah, that's actually a pretty tiny plane, honestly. Huh. What is that? It's like a 20 stud long or something? And then uh, 25 wide or something? Yeah, that's it's not that big. I mean, if you're getting it free with purchase, it's fantastic. <laughs> right? Because uh, if you're not having to buy it outright, I don't, I don't know I would ever buy this second hand, honestly. I think I'd only pay for it. Um, I, I think I'd only buy it if it was so far. Fifteen twenty dollars, I think would be fair, fair for it. Uh, I guess it's two hundred pieces, so yeah, twenty bucks. It'd probably go for thirty. Would be a good deal if, as a collector's item. 
forty dollars for this thing would probably be a little too much for me to fork out for it since I know it was free. Um, like people making trying to make money off the free stuff, like the day it came that comes out, like trying to sell the mon. I saw people trying to sell the Monster Book of Monsters for forty bucks. I'm like, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> And I was right. Those uh, listings were still up. At least the ones I saw. <sighs> we're, we're having... We're having a thought, Barbosa. Am I going to have to do the calculations on this thing to figure out exactly where this will sit? I might. <sighs> Let's see. I want this to go here. But I think it needs a spacer to go down one one plate. Ah. All right. Hmm. See, here's a. Oh, these do all just sandwich together. Look at that. Boink, boink, boink. Just, just like that. I'll sit on here. They will need a, a spacer in there. That's okay. We can get one. And then we go upside down. Man. Oh no! <gasps> it's not upside down. I don't think it's upside down, guys. I think those use the upside down uh, the upper brackets. So how many upper brackets do we have? Wow, we've got a lot. That makes me think that they are significant. Because we need we need some sideways bricks, some snotting bricks, to get everything right. Wow, those are... Oh, you know what? These are the landing gear. Let's do the landing gear for a minute. Why not? So, looks like we've got a two plate. Oh, that's fairly easy construction. And the bottom plate is the, yeah, all right. Sorry, I know I'm not being very coherent right now. Just uh, just trying to get things done. Oh, as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna go down in the basement and keep working. Uh, I haven't been able to do tons of mocks lately, just because of that. There's just a ton of work to do. So we're, uh, Busting it out like crazy. It's a UAV at this point, yep. What is it that I always wanted to get and then actually got it? Like, what's my dream set that I finally got? Um, I think I have to go back to Christmas several years ago. Um, while I was uh, away uh, on a mission for my church, I ended up uh, being gone when Star Wars Episode Three came out. And it was kind of inappropriate for uh, a person in my position to be buying toys and stuff. Um, I also thought I was all grown up and stuff. <laughs> 18, 19 years old. There you go. Um, but I ended up uh, kind of saying, you know, I'm not going to get any sets. And so I missed all the entire wave of Episode 3. And the one I liked the most was the Ultimate Space Battle that had Obi-Wan and Anakin Starfighters. And my wife actually picked them up for me uh, one year for Christmas, which was pretty awesome. I actually was going to go buy them from the guy myself, but she actually beat me to him. And so I couldn't get it, and I was sad. And then she, you know, Christmas morning comes, and she's like, this is from me. And I'm like, what? And I got the actual set, which I was really stoked about. It was really fun. Anyway, that's what I was doing. Hey, thanks for sticking around, Nolan Remen. Lego should make more dragons? Yeah, they really should. Uh, especially the price of the dragons that are out there right now. Uh, like Smog and some of the Harry Potter dragons. Way too expensive. What, Ben? You want to talk over me? Well, you better tell me what you're thinking. What are you saying? <laughs> they can hear you, by the way. <laughs> oh, goodness. Maybe I should secure that before I try to attach it. Oops. It's all good. It's all good. Everything's fine now. We're all fine now here. How are you? Alright, so there's our landing gear. We'll set those aside. 
Uh, all right, I think my time is up. I think I got to figure out how all this works. How do we put studs next to each other and have them go upside down and backwards? <laughs> all right. I'm seeing some color here. And I think it's because there are some white, those white stud alternates. Oh my goodness. I think I found it. Oh, I did it. I figured it out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's, ah, it's very similar to the Ahsoka Sabres, guys. Yes. All right. You guys ready to see the magic? Wow, they included one picture that gave me the clue. Wow. Honestly, great job, Lego. Great job. Starts with this. Then, yes. Then these two white pieces. You can just barely see them in the picture. And then there's a spacer of some kind. I'm going to guess it's a one by two red plate because there are quite a few of them. And then like that. And that's how you get it to go top and bottom. And these white pieces actually also hold that because it'll, it'll line up perfectly. We don't necessarily need anything right there. Uh, then I think we do the same thing again. Yep, exact same thing again. So these two white, you know, I love these pieces, guys. These uh, studs, uh, studs on two sides, one by ones. You know how much I love snotting bricks. I freaking love them. And then the brackets. Yeah, this is actually very similar to what I did with the Ahsoka Saber. Actually, now I'm starting to think maybe I should have changed it a little bit, <laughs> to be honest. All right. Now, here's the really tricky part here. Um... I can only see two levels worth. That's going to be a struggle. Because uh, once we get this guy here and put this on like this, there's still a gap at the back. My guess is that we're probably going to need to put this in. Ah. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe this? Maybe that? That could work. That could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then this ends. This would end right there. Like that. Dude, I think we got it. All right, so then we just got to fill in the spaces here with um, more stuff. <laughs> Okay, so if it were me, I'd probably use a red piece here because you can see up inside. So I'd probably use these red two by sixes in both these places. Although there's really no way to get those out, which is kind of frustrating. Would I, would I just do that? I don't know. Yeah, I could, I could do that. And then this actually fits right there perfectly. And this attaches here. Huh. Look at that, guys. Holy cow, we are woven it. And then we've got these guys. Now, these guys, I would anticipate, would be very similar to the other parts. But, like that. Because that's that's how, I basically, I did it with the Ahsoka Sabers. Or, I mean, the basic idea is that these are the same style and design. I may actually redo the Ahsoka Sabres. They've got some new pieces out that would fix some of my issues. Uh, that's a spare. Pretty sure. We're going to have a lot of extra pieces. <laughs> Which I guess is pretty standard for a puzzle build. Um, I'm actually tempted to put this one in this way. Dude, that's exactly where it goes, guys. Nailed it. Snailed it. All right. Now what? Where would those go on this? Because these pieces came in this part. So where would they go? Huh. 
I, I actually have quite a few extra pieces. <laughs> and that's not necessarily a good thing. No, that's, that's all together. Where would that giant one-by-one one plate go? Seriously. Or sorry, not one-by-one, one, but uh, one-by-ten. Where would that go? Oh. Wait. No. Hmm. Ben, are you looking the instructions? You are? Ah. Uh, so you can't talk anymore. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Aha. That's not supposed to be green. Check this out, guys. That's how it's together. Don't give me hints, Ben. You're ruining the integrity of the puzzle build. So as soon as I said that, Ben goes, yep. And I'm like, no, don't tell me. The whole point is that I'm guessing. I'm trying to reverse engineer it, dude. So yeah, that one by 10 actually fits there, but that means I need a some sort of a two by two right inside that. Ugh. I mean, that's cool that I figured that part out, and that actually makes sense because now the wings actually are connected. Because beforehand, you could actually bend the wings slightly out of alignment. So now I need a two by two. There is only one of these, and so I'm tempted to just use that because that would actually hide itself very well. Let's see if we can see in the corner right here. So right in that corner is where we could possibly see a hint. It's very dark, but we got very dark things over here. Although none of them are quite as black as right there. The rest of them are kind of gray shadows. I'm tempted to just put the black one there. But the question is where on earth do those one by two slopes go? Where do these go? These don't even make any sense. Huh. I'm going to put this in. We can always take it out after if we need to. I can remove the cheese wedges, then the slope, and then the two by two. So we can get that out. Let's see. So this is five long. Ah, it's five long. Look at that. Of course. Yep, look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> That's the back one. I gotta be doing that on the front one. All right, so the back one, let's put that on now before we mess it up again. Yeah. Dude, this is this is so much like the Ahsoka Sabres, it's not even funny. Uh, but you know what? I bet those are reversed because of build integrity. Because we'll want we want to uh, overlap brick brick layer it. No, these these are reminding me of the Ahsoka Sabres so bad. Dude, what if they saw my Ahsoka Sabres and were like, "That's a great technique." No, nah, there's no way. <laughs> I'm sure they've used it in other places. Now the real question is here what goes there you know this green thing looks really good right there <laughs> that's how i do green thingy goes towards the red thingy i i think we're the red thingy and send what are all these all right these these are extra that's an extra that's not that's an extra so Now what? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can study this a little bit. Get an idea. Oh, no, that's an extra because we use those on the tail. The little one by ones are usually extra pieces. We're usually okay. You think they go on the display stand? That's the only thing I can guess for those cheese slopes. Oh, 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 I know where they go. Dang it, I gotta take that black two by two out. <laughs> It's a yellow one that goes in there, I guess. Don't give me hints, Ben. Keep quiet. He's laughing at me because he's like, ha, I read the instructions. I know how to do this. And I'm like, you know what, you little punk? Uh, they go on the front right there. Maybe. 
Yes. 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 I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, that's, why'd you put the instructions on top of that, Dingus? <laughs> Thank heaven I didn't open it. Uh, they go right there for the display stand. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only place they could go. All reality. And then the uh, the hinge slots right in there because I do know the hinges slot there. All right, so let's go ahead and attach the landing sections. Boom, look at that. That's actually really cool. I really like how those attach. I like it when there's stuff that floats a little bit, you know? So like these these studs, these landing gear are are not in any specific position. Like they would move in any direction, so they just played around with the clips until they got them in the right position. Until it looked good. And there we go. I don't know where these white pieces go. Or those one by twos. Unless these one by twos act as spacers above the uh one by two by one by two upper brackets. And then these I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing on those. All right, let's take one more look at it before we give up. Oh, they go on the landing gear. Look at that. I can see one of the I can see one of the one by one rounds right there. Sorry, I am sliding this thing like crazy. My bad, guys. Sorry, that, that's not very pleasant to look at. Okay, so let's fold down the landing gear slightly. Put those in. Oh, are those little spacers? They are. There's spaces to keep those in line. Look at that. Look at Lego being all sneaky about stuff. Now those one by twos, I th these could go on there a lot better on the inside. So if we take off the landing gear, open this up. Stop laughing, Ben. No, you're laughing. Stop, stop laughing at me. No one look at me. Uh, you guys ever watch Mega Mind? That's a funny show. I, uh, my brother-in-law and I did our podcast. Oh, by the way, I was going to talk about the podcast. I have a whole list of things to talk about today, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I do a podcast with my brother-in-law called Raising Nerds, um, and we just did our uh, WandaVision finale. Uh, discussion, which is really fun. So you guys are uh, welcome to go check that out. Uh, we're on all the different podcasting platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, everything. Raising nerds, because we are both raising kids, and we are raising them to be nerds. Right, Ben? Are you a nerd? Yeah, you just watched Stargate. You're a nerd. <laughs> two leftover one by 2 plates, guys. I really can't figure out where these go. Let's look, shall we? One more time. Just to see if there's anything that doesn't look like it's in place. Ah, I found them. I found them, guys. They're on the tail. They go right here. The tail is uh, two plates thick. We can see it right there. It's two plates thick. There's a corner. Holy cow, guys. I think we nailed this. Oh, my goodness. We nailed that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Woo. Yeah. Okay. So, here we go. Um, podcast. Patreon. We ha I have a Patreon. Um, I've been keeping up with that. I do uh, a video each week. I I've been doing it as a live stream, but... Uh, Right now, the, the people who are at that level can't actually watch it because of the time zone difference. Um, but I do a, a weekly live stream uh, on Patreon for everybody at genius level or above. And yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, and then you can join. I also have to do the Discord. I'm getting really good at the Discord. Um, everything's put back together, so... Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm already getting scared. <laughs> okay. We're just building a display stand, TJ. 
It's not that hard. It, it's super easy. Barely an inconvenience. All right, let's build Amelia. Uh, my little girl was not named for Amelia Earhart, but Amelia Bedelia, because that was one of my wife's favorite books growing up. And I've always liked the name Amelia. I've never had any bad experience with an Amelia, <laughs> which is important. I could never have a daughter named Marie or Megan because of some bad experiences. <laughs> All right. Okay, they weren't bad experiences, but, you know x's and all that good stuff okay you know i'm just going to put this together now ben can you hand me the plane all right we're gonna put that on there like that that's gonna be the angle it's on perfect there you can keep playing with it um so yeah we have the patreon that is really fun uh, I enjoy putting out the videos for that one each week. It's a, it's a blast. Um, then the other thing that I just did is Lepin, the Lego stealer, stole my uh, my design for the Wrath Bomber, which is pretty crazy. And they're selling it for like 60 bucks. And they include the instructions, which means they're definitely not uh, not sharing it with me. So, don't buy it from Lepin. Buy from me, the creator. It's a lot. It's, it's well, no, it's not cheaper. Because <laughs> it's Lepin. It's fake Lego, man. This is interesting. Because it definitely doesn't sit all the way to the edge. I'm thinking that goes on the edge. And then these guys go inside there you go that's it tj so honestly i'm i'm liking the set so far i think the technique was pretty cool how they how all this uh how the main set got put together and honestly if you wanted to disassemble it and get these pieces i know uh, a lot of these bigger pieces are what very sought after you know, they're pretty nice let's see if we can get Hmm. So do these go like this, or do they go on top? I think they go on top, actually. Hmm. Ah, we gotta try to look. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Yeah, these actually go this way, side to side. And because we know that, we can then space these out properly and figure out how to, how these go. Could go like that. Could definitely go like that. Let's, uh, let's put them up, shall we? <sighs> um, I, I actually cannot sue Lepin. Um, for the infringement. Um, the biggest reason, I believe, is because I'm actually borrowing a lot of my design cues from Star Wars. And even though... Yeah, it's it's weird. There's just a lot of weird stuff with Lego and, and copyright and stuff. Um, I would like to. I would love to actually take them to court or something and, and win, but... They're based in China, and trying to get anything through the Chinese courts, especially with copyright, is my understanding is very difficult to do because the government owns everything over there. All right, we've got a lot of tricky parts here. Hmm. Yeah, there should be five of these, which there are. Excellent. Yeah, I, I probably should, Sue, Shadow Dancer. Sure. Uh, why did so many people leave? Uh, probably because I'm not that interesting, and that's okay, <laughs> honestly. Um, I was actually doing really good this this month, and uh, I haven't been looking at my subscribers every day, which was a problem I was having for a while. I started watching it every single day because I was, you know, caught up in the whole uh, YouTube algorithm 
garbagio that exists. Um, it, it really does suck you in, actually. YouTube is really good at taking creators that never intended to play the uh, play the games that they want you to and forcing you into it by getting you an app that'll tell you when people subscribe and when they unsubscribe, when they comment, and then rewarding you endorphin level for getting more subscribers and stuff. So, and that's okay. Watching somebody else build something and trying to just figure it out isn't always uh, exciting. And that's okay. I, again, I'm having fun. And if you guys are having fun, I'm happy to do that. Um, so uh, since there's only four of you guys watching right now, <laughs> I'm actually going to let you know that uh, I'm going to start instructions on the ATTC. Yep, I'm officially going to start instructions on that beast of a set. And I'm so excited to do it but I'm also terrified because I know it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a lot of work, but I have a plan and I think it'll work out in the end. At least I very much hope so. It's going to be intense and I'm still not sure about the price of the instructions yet. Part of me wants to charge like $20 for it and, uh, and give the patrons, you know, the, uh, uh, 80% off, so it'd only be like four bucks. Um, and the other part of me wants to charge five dollars for it because I'm crazy. And maybe if I sell a hundred of them for five dollars, it would be just as good as selling, you know, 20 of them for $20. I don't know, uh, it's just a hard decision to make. Uh, yeah, I think, I think $20 does seem fair because it is going to take me an entire month to do, <laughs> but then again, what I see, what I think is fair isn't always fair. Um, and since not a lot of people are here, I'm going to show you, I'm in the middle of, oh crud, pieces just fell off. I'm in the middle of, uh, rebuilding Rockets Warbeard, Warbird. Instructions will be up next week for free. So... <laughs> That should be fun. That should get a lot of people uh, excited about TJ's Lego room. <laughs> um, I may even, oh, sorry. I may even uh, put them together later. I, as much as I was upset that Leppin had stolen my idea, I was actually also a little bit flattered. Cause I'm like, holy cow, like the company that steals from Lego stole from me too. How cool is that, right? Like there's almost a little bit of pride that went along with it because it's like these uh these clowns that steal from lego and everything they actually took from me too that's well thank you i i didn't know i was that good <laughs> i mean i i kind of understand that i am pretty good i'm a pretty good designer but i'm not amazing i'm not the most amazing designer in the world but i'm getting better TJ's getting better. TJ's getting better every day. What is that? Oh, I got I have one of the corner pieces stuck inside. No. Oh, it's one of these little one by one corners. See, that's another problem I've been having lately is uh these things getting stuck inside. Oh, I've got a katana. I'm gonna use a katana to get it out. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, yay! It worked. See? You just need to use a sword. <laughs> you can get it out. The only reason I noticed is because with that thing in there, this uh, piece wouldn't go together. And that's how it works. So they, they used 2x2 two two tiles, 2x2 two two bricks, and then upper brackets together. And then you flip them upside down. And combine them with uh, these two by four plates. You're good to go. And then, you now where do those threes go? Oh, they go at the bottom. You can barely see. Like I'm trying to look at this 
And it's so difficult to see any of it. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I see it. All right. So we've got the angle pieces, the those one by one curved tiles, a couple slopes, a couple of those, a couple of those. Oh man, where did those go? <laughs> Maybe at the back? Yeah, they definitely don't uh, don't go at the front. Yeah, my guess is that they go in the back somewhere. And then I don't know why that is a one by two plate, but that's what it shows here on the on the picture. It's kind of weird. Oh, it's so she can stand there. Ah, it's so she can stand there. Okay, that makes sense actually. But then I've got a leftover one by two. All right, Ben, I need that. Give me the plane. Give me the plane. Give me the plane. Give me the cash. All right. So there we go. Got that together. We'll put some stuff at the back here. For it to rest against, maybe. I don't really see anywhere that those other slopes could go, guys. Oh. Yes, I do. Check this out. Ah, dang it. They go under the the plaque. I'll take the plane off real quick and show you. So the the uh, cheese slopes that I missed go under these because that's the angle that they work on. It's awesome. And use a screwdriver. <laughs> uh, aimless films. Yeah, that is the best worst compliment, right? <laughs> um. Shadow Dancer, 10 to 15 seems okay. I mean, it's going to be gigantic. 10, 15, yeah, you think so? I definitely think it should be more than my other mocks. I, I think the ATTC should cost more than my other mocks. Because it is the literally the largest thing I've ever built. Um, I, again, I'm just not 100% sure exactly how much that should be. But, yeah, yeah. 15, I, I could go 15. Yeah, I, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. As someone also named Ben, I have been startled many times over the course of this stream. <laughs> ben! 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 <laughs> oh, sorry about that, aimless films. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, Andre, a katana did work. Uh, well, Shadow Dancer, of course, you can buy it. You you get discounts. By the way, Shadow Dancer, if you could answer me right now, have you been getting your discount coupons for uh, um, for the Patreon? Let me know. Oh, sorry, I'm the Stones. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. <laughs> Don't be mad. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. It's all friendly. Don't hate me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's see. Should we get some stickers on here? I think we should put some stickers on. Yay. Now, I I am embarrassed that there is this piece left over. I have no idea where this is supposed to go. Uh, no or why it's supposed to, where it could possibly go. So, oops. All right, let's get this sticker. Oh. This, this is the one that everyone's going to see the most, so I want to make sure that one's right. What are you laughing at, Ben? Did you peek at the instructions again? Yes. I have one leftover piece, guys. One one by four leftover piece. It's freaking me out. I don't know why it's why it's that. You know what? You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to have a leftover piece. I'm going to stick it right here. There you go. Look, no leftover pieces. <laughs> Ben's over here laughing at me. Sorry, not aimless, Ben. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shadow Dancer, they, they should have gone through on your email. So just let me know if you have any problems with them. I will take care of you, okay? All right, we have Amelia Earhart with her map of the ocean. Oh, man, that was so funny. I, I When I was in line at the Lego store, one of the Lego store employees is like, was started making a joke about Amelia Earhart. I'm like, dude, t 
too soon. He said, nah, too soon would be for this set to be a plane underwater. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that is really funny. <laughs> it's terrible, but it's really funny. And, uh, yeah, nobody in line got mad or anything, because it's like, eh, it's... I mean, I know it was a tragedy that she got lost. She was a pioneer of aviation and for women all over the world. Um, but, I mean... Uh, I don't know. You got to be able to joke about, about something. I mean, my father passed away five, almost six years ago. And I mean, we joke about death all the time. I'm not going to share those jokes here because I guarantee you someone will get offended and try to cancel me. <laughs> but uh, we tell some pretty funny jokes about about death in my family. It's just something you get used to. Uh, my dad had cancer for 14 years. So death is an old friend in our family. Ah, oh, people do joke about the worst things, right? Uh, or about worst things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. Uh, honestly, I think everything should be able to be joked about at some point. But it's just knowing the the audience and if there are people that are hurting about stuff. Like if Amelia Earhart's family was on the stream, I wouldn't make any jokes about her. Not at all. I think that would just be in poor taste. Unless they didn't care, and then, it, then it's open season. Uh, that's actually something when my dad actually got cancer, I ended up, uh, I really let loose because another kid in school, his dad had cancer, and I kept thinking of all these jokes, but I would never tell them because it's like, oh, you know, well, his dad actually has cancer. He can't tell those jokes. So when my dad got cancer, it was like open season. Like, I just went nuts because we were like, hey, my dad has cancer. I'm like, so does mine. And then they wouldn't be able to say anything. <laughs> it really did feel like it was open season on cancer jokes when that happened. <laughs> oh, man, I can't remember any of them right now. But there were a couple. Oh, oh, there is one, actually. I will tell you. Ben Earhart. <laughs> I aim this film, so crap. <laughs> oh no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I haven't even told any Amelia Earhart jokes. I haven't even told any yet. Unless you want me to, are you okay with that aimless films, Ben Earhart? <laughs> That's awesome. Love it. No, 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 the sticker's off. I don't want you on. Sorry, this is gonna be like a display model. I think I'm gonna keep it around. I think it's a nice set. I may even keep the box. I didn't even keep the Charles Dickens box. But I might keep this one. Uh, if somebody wants it, if I end up deciding to sell it one day, you know, I don't want it anymore. I mean, the pieces are nice. If I end up using the pieces, then I'll throw the box away. <laughs> if I cannibalize it for some reason. And by the way, me saying cannibalizing this plane is not a joke about where Amelia Earhart crashed. <laughs> Which... Now makes it a joke about where Amelia Earhart crashed. <laughs> oh. uh, what did I buy to get the promo? I actually, I, I'm kind of embarrassed about this. I just bought two 501st Battle Packs and a couple of uh, Trouble on Tatooine sets. Um, one of them for me and the other one for the Razor Crest Contest, which is going on right now. Uh, I need to really set up a, a static page where people can go to to uh, read that, to look up the instructions. What? You thought I was done? You thought I was done? I can't even say your name anymore because Aimless is going to get mad at me. <laughs> can't even say your name. You're like, who? who? So then you sit there and you're like, who, who do you want to stop? Who do you want to stop? You. Like, who, who am I, Dad? Who am I? What's my name, Dad? <laughs> uh, the Razor Crest Contest. I'm giving away a Razor Crest. Uh, you need to build a... Razor Crest Mark II, a second version of the Razor Crest for Mando to fly in the next season of The Mandalorian. And uh, I I will pick a winner, my favorite one. I have uh, I have the contest rules up. Oh gosh, you're gonna have to look at the. I think that's my problem. I'm gonna get a Facebook my Facebook page and pin the contest on there so people can look it up. But I have another, I have an announcement from January about the Razor Crest Contest. You can look up some of the rules. It is really fun. I've already got like five or six entries so far. 
and a couple more that people have showed me some work in progress pictures of, which are really cool looking. Um, so yeah, it's moving along. Uh, the, the contest is moving quickly. It's gonna, uh, it ends in July, the, the 1st of July. So at midnight, my time, I'm going to stop accepting entries. But I think I think a lot of most people will uh, will get them in a little bit before then. But if I know anything about contests in the past, uh, a lot of people do wait till the last day. <laughs> um, so I was happy to get a few entries already. It's pretty fun. Still working on your shadow dancer? Awesome! I'm excited for that. You're welcome to share any work in progress pictures with me. <laughs> uh, I'm actually building my own as well, my own racer crest. Mark II. Obviously, it's not eligible for the contest, <laughs> but uh, I am actually stuck in the design phase. I can't find a really, really good design that I like so far. And then every time somebody sends in a, a contest entry, I'm like, oh, that's such a good idea. Oh, but I probably shouldn't use that. <laughs> um, just because if I end up finishing my Razor Crest before them, then it'll look like they copied mine, but they didn't, and then I'll have to justify it. So I've got to I've got to be really fresh with my own design. All right, we got the stickers on there, which is rare. I don't always do stickers on my sets, but this set seemed appropriate to do since it's very much a display. Um, if yeah, so you got to spend uh, like a hundred bucks to get this um, the set. Probably, you know, in looking at it now, knowing that it's a collectible. I think if you can get it for $20, $30, I think that's a great deal. I think it looks a lot better on the stand, to be honest. I think it looks much better than I than it did when I was just building it straight up. I think she looks great. Uh, the minifigure is awesome. It's a totally new print on the, uh, on the shirt and the face, which is great. Um, the map has that sticker, which I'm kind of frustrated about. They should have made a print for it and then included it in other sets later um, as a callback i think that would have been really smart to do um, but it is exclusive so now it's even harder to get this even the stand is nice it's actually a really nice display wow i'm actually more impressed than i thought i was i think as a display model 30 dollars is great i think as far as pieces go um i think less than 20 is what i would pay for just the pieces um, but as a collectible stand and everything, I think, yeah, it's good. So if you can go and get one from the Lego store, I believe they still have them up right now. They're still available, uh, online last I checked. So if you can go on, if you've got a hundred bucks to throw at some Lego, uh, you can get, it works with anything. You don't have to get a specific theme or anything, but, uh, if you spend a hundred bucks, you can get this guy. And honestly, I'm happy. I'm really happy with, uh, with how it looks. And I used every part guys. That's awesome. I'm really excited about that. Brits and Pieces, what is up? Um, let's see. Yours is based off a concept you had about Mando going to fight in the Mandalorian Wars to free Mandalorian. So it's a cross between dropship and gunship. That sounds awesome. Aimless Films, uh, see you later. I can now say Ben again. <laughs> Bye, Ben. And, and Ben, you can say. <laughs> Which one was I talking to? You don't know. Bye. Um, no, this actually, this one was really fun to do once I figured out how they got the studs back to back. And it's actually, like I said earlier, it's, it's, uh, very similar to my Ahsoka Tano lightsabers, the, the really nice curved ones that I've got. It's very similar to that technique. So I'm pretty excited with how this has all turned out. Honestly, it's, I'm, I'm very happy. I think this looks really good. I doubt I got it 100% perfect, but uh, yeah. So I will be posting a picture or a video, sorry. I'll be posting a video up on my Patreon um, going over the instructions and seeing what I got wrong and uh, and hanging out over there for, for a while. Um, that probably won't go up today because I got to go back into the basement and keep working. But uh, yeah, wow. That really does not like to be moved around. It's only held on by two studs. I'll, I'll, I'll forgive them. It's a display model. Not supposed to be flying it around the room on the stand. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out.
Uh, next week, we'll be going over the changes to the uh, Rockets Warbird from the Guardians of the Galaxy, first one. And until then, we'll s and when we see you back in TJ's Lego room, play well. Bye.